Is responsible for the death of three year of a three year old from back in September is still out on the loose and her family wants answers. Kaylin Matthews was killed in a triple shooting last fall and today her family threw a birthday party to remember her life as she would have turned four this past Thursday. News for Jack's reporter Alicia Hatcher went to the gathering and spoke to her family. She was our bougie baby because whenever you ask her what she wanted to eat, it was shrimp or crabs. You had to have shrimp or crabs. That's all she wanted to eat. So that's always my long lasting memory. And so now when I'm cooking shrimp, I was like, hey, I got you some shrimps. A memory Kaylin Matthews' grandmother, Valencia Shrouder, will always cherish. Matthews was killed in a triple shooting back in September at an apartment complex on Jacksonville's South Side. Since her passing, her family continues to hold her in their memories. We're celebrating the heavenly fourth birthday for Kaylin Marie Matthews. We wish she was here to celebrate with us, but we're still keeping her spirit alive. How are you and your family handling with Kaylin not being here? It's hard. Um, we take every day as it comes, just thankful and grateful for the memories. Uh, we're going through counseling, of course, and trying to check in with JSO ever so often to see if there are any leads. But we still talk to Kay every day. We know her spirit is still here, loving on us, and we, of course, want her to know we just miss her dearly and still love her. Through the pain, they continue to hope the person responsible for her death is found. I know someone knows something. Please share. If you just have the slightest idea of anything, please take those tips to JSO. They're trying, but they really don't have a lot to go on. But I know you have something you can share that will get us that much closer to finding the people that did this. Alicia Hatcher, Channel 4, The Local Station.